you know, guys, hmm, I have always heard of cabals, like cabals, cabals. Now I am now learning the real definition of what we call cabal in Nigeria. When we say cabal, hmm. Once you are in a position of authority, do not even step on their toes because they will find a way to make sure you exit unceremoniously because I think this is exactly what is happening in the case of Emifili. Like, I do not even see any real reason for all this. Ever since the introduction of uh, withdrawal limits, DSS have started. They have started going after this man just for no reason, saying... Is financing terrorism. If you have any evidence, present, present your evidence. At first, they went to court saying that the court should give them an order for them to arrest the, the governor. But how do you go to court and ask for the court to give you an order of arrest? Like, if you have tangible evidence, if you know this person has committed an offense and you have tangible ev evidence, you know, to 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 verify your claim why not just go ahead and arrest the person emifili does not have any immunity as far as i'm concerned only 74 people in nigeria has immunity the president the vice president governors and their deputies those are the only set of people that has that have immunity in nigeria so why do you then need to go to court for courts to give you an order before you can arrest him and right now, Emefele is not even in the country as we speak. The DSS has taken over his office right there in Abuja. I just feel like this is just a, kanga, a, a, it's just a kangaroo way of just pushing this man out of office just because of all the policies that he has made that is not, that is not you know, favorable to this set of people. By now... After about eight years in office, why now? Why is it now that he's bringing, you know, new policies? Uh, we saw, you know, the new Naira notes. We saw a lot of people that have kept money in uh, storex, in tankers, where warehouses. Those people had to bring out their money, then deposit it in bank just because they don't want the money to go to waste. You know, that one is one. Then withdrawal limits, on the other hand, an election is coming. Election is February 25. And these people know that once this withdrawal limit is intact, combined with, you know, number one, BVAS, the beavers, the new method we are using, the INEC is now using, is not even going to give them any room, you know, to snatch ballot box or, you know, do any kind of magumago that they will usually do. Then number two, withdrawal limits will not even allow them to get enough money to buy votes from people. So I feel that, you know, by in all standards, Emefiele has stepped on a lot, a lot of toes. His policies are not favorable to these, you know, said cabals. And now they are trying to push him out of a country, out of, you know, out of a country and even out of the CBN seat. They want their, probably they want to put their own person before february before the election because i feel that is that is just what this is all about and mind you guys this is not the first time this is happening remember it happened to lamido back in 2014 we saw lamido you know he came out boldly i i lo just love that man he is so blunt and he speaks his mind he came out boldly to say that both the house of senate the house of rep they take 25 percent of the national income and you can imagine just about people that are not even not up to 600 just a minority taking to a whole 25 percent of the national income money that is supposed to you know benefit the lives of millions of nigeria so this did not go down well with him i remember then because i i watched the uh in-house uh committee meeting that they did with him and he still repeated the same thing he told them to their faces that look i said it and i have the evidence you know i have the proof right here to back it up you guys are taking 25 percent of the national income and those people they could not say anything he, he was he, he was summoned to the meeting and he still repeated the same thing they could not say anything at the end of the day um one kangaroo allegation was leveled against him terrorism financing you know 
the matter it was arrested the matter was taken to court he won the case against them 50 million naira was rewarded to him as repatriation and this is the same thing they are doing now to him all because his policies are not favorable to them you can imagine hey god god help us all because right now we are praying for good leaders good leaders we want to good leader what if that good leader gets there the same thing they are doing to these people once you are not abiding by them once you're not doing their will they will send the person out unceremoniously probably impeach look for one kangaroo allegation and level it against them and make sure that the person is being sent out of office but enough of my story i just want to say that as an introduction let's go into the details of today's news operatives of the department of state security says have taken over the office of godwin emefili governor of the central bank of nigeria cbn at the apex headquarters the embattled cbn governor has been having a running battle with the cbn over alleged tourism financing DSS had earlier sought a court order to arrest Emefiele, who has been out of the country for his annual leave. However, the FCTI court had, in December 2022, barred the Secret Service from arresting, inviting, or detaining Emefiele. DSS stormed CBN headquarters on Monday noon with 20 vehicles filled with armed personnel. The operatives also barred all staff of a bank from gaining access to Mr. CBN's office. Pardon me, to Mr. Imifiele's office. Earlier, I was watching um, the video, the interview that uh, Falano granted Channel's television. He asked, he was like, why isn't Buhari, you know, swinging into action and taking control of all this? My thought is that they are only acting on, on the orders of a president because if the president did not give them the order, they are not going to go this far. That this is just my personal opinion. I feel that the president, there's no way this will be going on and the president of a country would not be aware. Of course he is aware because the DSS cannot go. <laughs> hey, God. Oh, my God. This is, oh, this is what is happening. Corruption. Bribery and corruption just can't garu. Can't I bet you if Amy decides to take this matter to court and you know charge federal government to court, we'll still win the case just like Lamido won the case back in 2014 and federal government paid him 15 million naira as compensation. You can imagine, is this is this necessary? Is all necessary? They are fighting for their own pocket and corruption. Eh? Hey, anyway, let me know what you think in the in the comment section i shall be bringing you up on this matter and more stay tuned on